Hello and welcome to our Fall 2020 Master's Degree Virtual Celebration. My name is Mike Putoff and I'm the Dean of Graduate Studies. On behalf of St. Ambrose University, congratulations. Earning a Master's Degree is a great accomplishment. Some of you finished your Bachelor's Degree and went right into your graduate work and are ready to enter the workforce. Others of you came back to school after some time and built upon your life experiences. Now you're ready to start a new journey in your life. All of you are here today because of your grit, your work ethic, and desire to enrich your own life and the lives of others. You are also here because of the support of others and opportunities made available to you. In some direct ways, it may have been a teacher, a coach, or someone in your church who encouraged you to put yourself out there for a new challenge, a supervisor who told you you had the potential to be a leader and found a way to support your education, a family member or a significant other who took on extra work at home so you could get your goals of earning your degree. If we step back and take a societal view, we are all here thanks to healthcare workers, policymakers, business leaders, and public servants who have provided us a way to stay healthy, set up school systems, and allowed us to pursue higher education and ensure safety in our communities. I challenge you to thank those people in your daily life who have supported you and acknowledge those people around us who have keep our society running. I know many of you will be entering careers that you can build upon their work and pay it forward to future generations. Of course, the reason you're watching this video right now is because of COVID. I think we can all agree that COVID has caused so much pain and agony. And while a canceled graduation ceremony is not the worst thing that COVID has done, we would have preferred to be together right now celebrating our graduates. We do hope you're able to find your own way to celebrate with your family and friends. This virtual event is not taking the place of a hooding or a commencement. Rather, it's a way to say congratulations to you right now. We hope at some point you ha to have you back on campus to celebrate. The faculty of St. Ambrose University will be honoring our master's degree graduates from all three academic colleges. From the College of Arts and Sciences, we will honor graduates earning a Master of Criminal Justice, Master of Pastoral Theology, Master of Science and in Information Technology. From the College of Business, we will honor graduates earning a Master of Business Administration and a Master of Organizational Leadership. From the College of Health and Human Services, we will honor graduates earning a Master of Science in Exercise Physiology and a Master of Public Health. The Master of Physician Assistant Program and Doctor of Physical Therapy Program will have their own video celebrations. We will hear a congratulatory message from each program director and then read the names of each graduate. I do encourage you to listen to Dr. Colleen Doak's graduation commencement address. Dr. Doak was selected to be the graduate commencement speaker and is a professor in the Master of Public Health program. Then please listen to our message from our university president, Sister Joan Lisinski. Both of these messages are timely and will be meaningful to our graduates and their family and friends. Links to both are below in the video description and can be found on the St. Ambrose University YouTube channel. Once again, congratulations. Let's begin our celebration. Candidates for the Master of Pastoral Theology. The Master of Pastoral Theology program at St. Ambrose University is designed to integrate academic rigor with pastoral sensibilities. Uniquely offered in conjunction with the Diocese of Davenport and its candidates for the diaconate, it also offers lay people and those in non-ordained ministry the opportunity for study and growth. Students study a vast array of disciplines, church history, theology, scripture, morality, and pastoral skills. The degree is finished with an integration project in which the students bring together insights from various disciplines and apply them to her or his ministry. Our graduates serve in various types of parish ministry, in prisons, in chaplaincy, <clears throat> and in other forms of ministry. Julie Pagano Poor. Congratulations to those earning a Master of Pastoral Theology. The mission of the MS degree in IT management is to develop IT managers competent in the justification, 
analysis, design, implementation, and management of IT solutions, and to develop leaders who can apply those solutions to a diverse set of enterprise challenges. The MSITM program is a blend of information systems theory and business management. It provides the technical skills needed to contribute effectively within an IT department and the management skills necessary to successfully manage a corporate IT department. Naif Al-Zahrani Ka Yan Wang I am Chris Barnum, and I am the Director of Graduate Studies in Criminal Justice. St. Ambrose University has a strong tradition of graduate study in criminal justice. In fact, St. Ambrose was the first institution to offer a master's degree in criminal justice west of the Mississippi. Now, SAU has two graduate criminal justice degrees. The MCJ is delivered online and is ideal for students interested in upper-level careers in law enforcement, security, corrections, and human services. The Master of Science degree in Criminal Justice is a classroom-based program intended for students participating in our 4 plus 1 program. The degree prepares students for research in professional careers in criminal justice and related fields. Our students and our faculty have a strong tradition of service in the community and our programs fit well with the university's mission to promote justice and to protect human rights. Brian DePriest, Keokuk, Iowa. Lucas Klang, Mason City, Iowa. Ariel Jane Lindenmeyer, Marengo, Iowa. Linnea Jane Newell, Fort Dodge, Iowa. Naomi Elizabeth Streif, Bellevue, Iowa. Congratulations to those earning a Master of Criminal Justice. I am Arun Pilutla, the Associate Dean of the College of Business. It is my distinct pleasure to now begin the presentation of candidates in the College of Business, starting with the Master of Business Administration program. In 1977, the Master of Business Administration program in the College of Business became the first graduate program to be offered at St. Ambrose University. In 1984, the program was renamed the H.L. McLaughlin Master of Business Administration program after an area businessman. 43 years later, the program continues to evolve to meet the needs of business professionals and the organizations that they serve. The mission of the H.L. McLaughlin Master of Business Administration program is to deliver broad theoretical education and practical graduate level skills with an emphasis on social responsibility. As the graduates today would attest, the program's greatest strength is its faculty who bring to the classroom a mixture of strong academic training and years, and in some cases, decades of practical industry experience. The focus of the faculty is on student learning, enabling the students to understand the complexities of business and to solve diverse business problems. Candidates for the H.L. McLaughlin Master of Business Administration Fall 2020. Melanie A. Bazaar, Pleasant Valley, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Wyatt S. Breezer, Atkinson, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. 
Heidi S. Colford, Eden Prairie, Minnesota, Master of Business Administration. Joshua J. Cook, Manhattan, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Randall D. Cooper, Muscatine, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Thomas C. Corchardo, Amarillo, Texas, Master of Business Administration. Gilbert E. Boone, Bettendorf, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Karen S. Eden, do it. Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Tasha D. Foster, Ankeny, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Mackenzie Gilbert, Muscatine, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Nicholas Gilbert, Muscatine, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Selena M. Hines, Fulton, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. John Hoffman II, Moline, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Amanda C. Kohler, Davenport, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Jacqueline Kolasik, Kelowna, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Mark J. Lechtman, Bettendorf, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Carissa J. McKinley, Durant, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Carly Nelson, Cambridge, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Dusan Perovic, Podagorica, Montenegro, Master of Business Administration. Eric A. Pulse, Fort Dodge, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Caleb Rangel, Rock Island, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Brady J. Shively, Eldridge, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Ashley N. Scahill, Leclerc, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Jordan C. Starkey, Colonna, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Bradley T. Steger, Milan, Illinois, Master of Business Administration. Jody Sturmer, Bluegrass, Iowa, Master of Business Administration. Congratulations to those earning an H.L. McLaughlin Master of Business Administration degree. Hi, my name is Dan Ebner. I'm from the Masters of Organizational Leadership Program. And I'm here to uh, explain a little bit about the MOL program for you. So the MOL involves coursework and experiential learning that our students tell us can be applied to the workplace the very next day. Uh, the MOL program uh, helps prepare students to face organizational challenges with collaborative solutions. Courses include leadership, strategic planning, communication, conflict resolution, team building, and other people skills. Thanks a lot, and congratulations to our graduates. These are the candidates for the Master of Organizational Leadership Program, Fall 2020. Garrett A. Adamson, Taylor Ridge, Illinois, Master of Organizational Leadership. Pam Goldensoft, Eldridge, Iowa, Master of Organizational Leadership. Anthony M. Jensen, Minden, Iowa, Master of Organizational Leadership. Lamont Johnson, Jr., Detroit, Michigan, 
Master of Organizational Leadership. Kylie Kuffler, East Moline, Illinois, Master of Organizational Leadership. Dennis J. Richards, Davenport, Iowa, Master of Organizational Leadership. Megan E. Poston, Benton North, Iowa, Master of Organizational Leadership. Renee D. White, Benton North, Iowa, Master of Organizational Leadership. Congratulations to all of those earning a master's degree in organizational leadership. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Scher and I am the director of the MPH program at St. Ambrose University. It is timely that our first MPH graduating class aligns with the week that COVID vaccines are being shipped and distributed to all 50 states. Public health brings people from many different professions together to solve problems. Our students think critically, they see opportunities where others see challenges. Our first graduating class embodies the spirit of problem solving, viewing it through an interprofessional and global lens, seeing collaboration and possibilities where others may not. Our graduating students will actively work to create healthier communities and will serve in this capacity as public health professionals. Our first graduating student is Tiffany Schick. She comes from Ridge, Ridgeway, Iowa, and her thesis was a roadmap for COVID-19 vaccine scale up in Johnson County, Iowa. Congratulations, Tiffany. Our second graduate is Amberly Solorzano. She comes to us from Fenimore, Wisconsin. Her thesis was implications of using body mass index to diagnose obesity in a clinical setting. She did a review of the literature. Congratulations, Amberly. Please join me in congratulating both Amberly and Tiffany for obtaining a master's in public health. We're excited to see how your career progresses and we will always be here to support you and your success. Congratulations to you both. We're very proud of you. Our Master of Science in Exercise Physiology is a research-focused program where students become well-rounded in physiology from both a research and medical standpoint, as well as other areas of exercise science, such as biomechanics, biochemistry, pharmacology, and nutrition. Both of our graduates this semester have completed their degree requirements through our accelerated option, despite the challenges that the coronavirus pandemic has brought to them. They also have, both have undergraduate degrees from St. Ambrose, and it has been wonderful to see them increase in knowledge over the last several years. Completing their degree requirements this fall are the following. Jenna Ko from Dixon, Illinois. Reed Henry from Normal, Illinois. Congratulations to Reed and Jenna for earning a Master of Science in Exercise Physiology. This brings our virtual celebration to an end. 114 individuals earned a St. Ambrose University master or doctoral degree. By earning an advanced degree, you are joining a select group of people. Only 14% of Americans have an advanced degree. With this knowledge and privilege comes responsibility. I challenge you to go into our community, apply your skills, support others, step forward to lead, and continue your personal and professional growth. This brings our virtual celebration to an end. Once again, congratulations. Go Bees!